This is Neil from SurfacePro3TechReviews.com and today I, I got a quick tip for you about how to make the end button on your Surface Pen launch the desktop version of OneNote instead of the Metro app. And what I mean by that is when you click it, this is the OneNote app that comes with Surface, but if you're an Office 365 subscriber, you get a desktop version that is much more powerful and is what I prefer to use. And I know there's many other people that feel the same way. Let me show you how you do that. <clears throat> First thing is you want to go to the Windows Store. And what Microsoft did was they just made an update to their Surface app. If you don't have the app already, go into the search box and type surface hit enter and <clears throat> excuse me here is the surface app right here I have it installed and if you don't download it and you'll have the latest version and you can skip what I'm gonna do next for those of you who already have it and are not sure if it's updated or not click on your account <clears throat> on the top and go to downloads and updates after that check for updates and remember this step is for those who already have the surface app now if you do have the surface app and it hasn't been updated you're gonna see it on the screen and you can say update all or update individual apps as they pop up I just did all mine so I don't have any showing now once that go ahead um, once that surface app updates you can close out of here and open it up I have it pinned to my start if you don't just click on all settings and click on any letter this is a shortcut and go to S and you'll see surface right so once you open this you come to the second part to the second uh, tab and you'll notice down here there's a new feature about the surface pen and it's right here where you can actually all three of the ways you can use the pen single click double click or press and hold you can configure in different ways for this example, we're going to take instead of OneNote default, which is that app that comes with it, you want to change it to launch a desktop app, the last one. Now what happens is, <clears throat> in typical Microsoft fashion, is they don't make it easy for you. Browse for a program. So once you click on this, which is the next step you're going to have to do, you're going to be brought into a you know a Windows directory you know and you're gonna have to go and search for it and that's what might be most confusing to people so even though you have the surface app and it's updated and everything it's not as straightforward as it might appear because if you don't know how to navigate through Windows it's it's gonna be pretty hard to find um, so let me show you that it, and it's not it's not that difficult on the left side of the screen click on Windows C and you'll see it uh, the different folders open up on the right you want program files x86 click on that then you want Microsoft Office double click on that then you want root double click on that and then Office 16 double click on that now you scroll down <clears throat> And you're going to see a list of programs, and you're and they're all going to be exe, something that exe, which are executables, which are programs. You'll notice here's our OneNote right here. Now there's two of them. The second one is a. Let me make this a little bit bigger. The second one is the uh, the screen clipping. Sometimes you'll see it pop up on your system tray, and you can tell which is the smaller one by looking at the 
the size of them. That uh, second one is only 155 kilobytes. The other one is 1,627 kilobytes. So you know it's the bigger application. That's your program. Click on it and hit select program. Now, there's our desktop version of OneNote. Pretty simple. Hope it helps you guys. If you have any questions or if there's something I forgot, just leave me a comment below and I'll try and answer them. Thanks for watching.